Um, it's kind of scary, right? What's up, guys? How's it going? It's Uncle Tone 99. It's Tony. How are you guys doing? On my way home from shopping, uh, I was looking for a present for Fiora for her birthday today, and I found nothing, really. So I think I'm going to buy her a little kitchen set or a little bedroom set or something for her dollhouse. I can get that at home. So, what's up? How you guys doing? What's going on this week? We just got through CES. Uh, some cool stuff came out of CES, man. Some cool stuff. I didn't keep up on everything, but I'm looking forward to people's coverage now after the event where they have time. Apparently they're having Wi-Fi issues and stuff like that. People weren't able to post up as much as they wanted to, so hopefully this week we'll get some, some cool stuff coming out. Um, one thing I did see that I thought was wicked cool was the RadTech Omnistand. That laptop stand made out of aluminum. That thing is cool, man. I've seen laptop stands that are made out of plastic that cost like 50 bucks. And RadTech only wants like 59 bucks for that thing. That thing's pretty cool. I might have to get one. I don't know, guys. We'll see. Um, what else is going on? Not much new. Um, this is my first vlog in HD. Hopefully you guys like it. Um, not a whole lot new. It's still snowing here. Here, I'll show you guys. It's still snowing. See? Still snowing. I know. I know, I don't like it either, but uh, you know, whatever. I like the beard, guys. Coming in good. I'm not gonna shave until I go back to work after holidays. I still got uh, two weeks, four holidays, and then a month of holidays. So that's the plan. No shaving until I go back to work. I'm gonna look like Grizzly Adams, man. I'd be like uh, Emile Hirsch had gone into the wild, you know? It's gonna be crazy. But, um, that's about it. Not a whole lot new. Uh, album of the week. What should we do for an album of the week? Um, the Trues. I don't remember what the name of the band is, but it's the only album they have on iTunes. Uh, check that on iTunes. Check that out. Pretty cool album. Uh, not bad at all. Is new. Not much new. Just driving home. Family night. We're going to watch movies. I have no idea what I'm going to watch. Just uh, my sister called and reserved them. And uh, I just go pick them up, dude. So, there you go. Um, I can't see anything. Every time a truck goes by, it completely obliterates the windshield. I can't see anything. Uh, what else is new? What else do I have to talk about? I got a few things I want to talk about. I don't know if you guys want to hear them or not, but... Well, you're watching the vlog, you probably won't hear what I have to say, right? Alright, the Nexus One came out, right? The Google phone, the Nexus One. Everybody's super excited about it. Can't get it in Canada! Really? What is Google thinking, man? I don't understand. I kind of understand. I think I kind of have a theory as to why they didn't release it in Canada. I think because they wanted 3G to be on T-Mobile and Verizon because AT&T already has the iPhone with 3G. So they didn't want to put 3G on the 850 megahertz band. They wanted to put it on the other UMTS bands for T-Mobile and Verizon. That's what I think. But still, you could still sell it in Canada. It's an Edge device. It still works on Edge. Um, I personally would never go back to Edge after having 3G. Um, I don't know why anybody would want to go back to Edge after having 3G. But I don't understand Google's whole logic behind it. it makes no sense whatsoever. Um, there's a huge marketplace here in Canada for Android. Uh, we've had Android devices on Rogers for you know a couple of years now. They're, they're pretty popular sellers. They do all right. And uh, I, I think there'd be a lot of people here in Canada interested in the Google phone. Or should I say the Google fail. So, you know, whatever. I think Google's dropping the ball big time, but they probably don't really care what I think anyway. So, there you go. Um, can't really think of much else to say right now. So I guess that's about it for now. Cool beans. My giveaway's coming up. I got more packages in today. Quick shout out to David Lozier, Lozier Realty. Thanks for getting hooking me up with my package, buddy. It's right here in my backpack. 
Hang on a second, I'll grab it. Right here. Here we go. Probably just showed my information, didn't I? I'm freaking brilliant! There you go, there it is. Inside there, we got a Switch Easy Rebel M. And we got a Spec See-Through V2. And we got a couple packs of SGP screen shields. So we're all set now for my screen shields. A couple fresh packs of SGP crystals. I really prefer the crystals. Um, the anti-glares, anti-fingerprints are great. Um, I just don't like how they make the screen look grainy. I like the, the crystal ones, with super clear. You know, I like that. I just prefer that. Personal preference, really. They're both great. Um, another package coming probably tomorrow. Um, he doesn't want me to name who he said who he is. I bought a couple cases from him. Um, but I got two Switch Easy Torrents coming tomorrow. <coughs> so look for some reviews on that stuff. Uh, giveaways coming up soon, a couple weeks probably. I gotta clear out my case box, it's getting full. You guys were at my stick am last night, I showed you guys my case box. It's getting full, dude. Um, some of those Power Mac cases are probably going to work their way into that, too. So, you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see what I can come up with. And, uh, you know, going to be at least two pairs of headphones in it. Um, I have, like, five pairs of headphones now. I don't need five pairs of headphones. That's excessive. So, probably at least two of them are going out to you guys. So, look for a couple pairs of headphones in it. Uh, some cases. You know, some good stuff. All right? Cool beans. Rock on. That's it for this week. See you guys next time. Lots of love. Peace.